I'm Adeline Bebo. I'm 23 years old and my hometown is right here in Dallas, Texas. So welcome to my gym. This is actually one of the first times that I've been back in a true gym practicing since I had a rib removed and two muscles removed and a shoulder surgery last December. So I'm working my way up to a comeback. Uh, but I will say I'd be lying if I said that this practice was going smoothly. Um, at this point, I've got two batons stuck in the ceiling. I would have definitely thought that being down a rib and two muscles would have maybe diminished some of my arm strength, but clearly it has made a full recovery. I started twirling when I was nine years old. Um, at the age of probably four or five, I told my mom that I wanted to twirl, kind of out of the blue. Uh, she really didn't know what the source of my curiosity was or where I even found out about this. The only thing I can think of now is that I maybe saw it in a parade or on TV, but all I knew was that was what I was going to do. And I had my heart set on it and I was a very stubborn child. We searched our area for a twirling coach, um, kind of came up short, but put me in cheerleading and competitive hip hop dancing for the meantime. And while well, I learned a lot of skills through that process, I knew that it wasn't what I was meant to do, it wasn't where my heart was. And finally, when I was nine, we found a coach that lived about an hour away from where we did. And we drove to go see her an hour there and an hour back, twice a week for four years. And I knew from my very first lesson that that was what I was going to do and I was going to pursue it wholeheartedly. Yeah, I used to sit in the backyard and just practice and practice and practice. And I remember going inside and saying, Mom, I'm going to be on Team USA for baton twirling. And at the time, I don't think either, either of us really knew that there was a Team USA for baton twirling, but I knew somehow that that was what I was destined to do. And um, from there, I set bigger and bigger goals. Not only did I want to be on Team USA, but I wanted to be a world champion. I wanted to be a role model, and I wanted to share this sport that I held so dearly in my heart with the rest of the world, and that's kind of what I've made my life to be at this point. I know that I've sacrificed a lot for twirling and I think to the outside world, it often looks kind of um, like a waste of time, a waste of energy, a waste of money, but um, I truly have sacrificed so much for the sport over the years. Uh, so many long hours. Uh, my gym times usually were four to seven in the morning and then nine to midnight and I would find any little space in my day and my schedule to fit in practices and I gave up a lot including a rib and two muscles in my shoulder for the sport but I truly believe that this sport has a lot to offer and even if a large percentage of the population doesn't even know it exists it has a lot of purpose for so many young boys and girls around the country it teaches so many valuable skills like time management dedication and a lot of resilience um, that's for sure I think resilience is the number one thing that I've come away with I know that I can overcome anything I can take any challenge on and even if it's difficult even if there are quite a few obstacles in the way I've learned that there's nothing that hard work and creativity can't overcome and that's what I live by